Hi, for people who are in the edge of starting a new shop and thinking about the billing solution, this video may help. So friends, good morning, good afternoon and good evening. Let's see some details about the billing system. Please note that this video will not help you to design or implement a billing system, but will help you to understand the basics of how the system works. What are the software and hardware components required to implement a billing system for a small shop? I mentioned a small shop. Yes, you heard it right. This video doesn't talk about a supermarket billing solution. So, as I mentioned, if you are planning to start a new shop that sells some products, there will be many things that you should handle and one of the important thing is the billing system. Some of the questions for which you need answers are, is the billing going to be manual? Is it going to be computerized? If computerized, how many computers should I purchase? What is the billing solution? What is this term data and database? How to handle the discounted rates? How to handle the printing, etc. Let us see the basic of all these things. All of us would have visited a supermarket or a small shop. So a form like this may be familiar to you. This is a sample of how the data entry form in a billing application looks like. The billing application will be in a computer as you can see. An operator sits in front of the computer and attend the customer request. He keys in the product information that the customer purchase. The billing application will communicate back with the rate, discounted rates, etc. Once all the products are entered, the operator proceeds in submitting and generating the bill for the customer. The computer will be connected to a printer and that generates the bill for the customer. This is the billing process as you all are aware. Let us try to split this process into different parts and see how all are connected. Billing application or software is the one that actually brings the data entry form in the operator's screen. He uses the software to enter the details and get the details. So where is the entered details going to? Or where is the operator getting the details from? The database is the answer. The database is a software that is used to store the data. The data is stored and retrieved as and when required from the database. The billing application or software takes care of communicating with the database to store the data and get the data. Some of the data exchanged between the billing application and the database is listed here. It can store the stock information. When new stock arrives, it will be entered by the operator and that will get stored in the database. When a customer makes a purchase, the purchase details also get stored in the database. Later, when a customer purchases an item, the billing application gets the price from the database. The information like sales details for a month can also be requested from the database. So we learned about the billing application and the database. But where is this database and billing application? This is where the design of a billing application comes into picture. In a small shop, a single system approach is used. As you can see, both the application and the database is installed in a single computer. This is more than enough for a small shop. An operator can use this computer to enter the stock information, help the customer make a purchase, get his bill, get a discounted bill, get the monthly sales information, etc. Please note that all the requirements like a regular bill, discounted bill, storing the regular subscribed customer information can be made possible through the billing application. This single system approach is the simplest solution where the budget matters. A small variation to the single system approach is the two system approach. The billing application will be installed in a separate computer. The database will be installed in another computer. Now the computer where the database is installed can be called as a database server because that is a dedicated machine for database. The operator sits in front of the first computer where the billing application is installed and does his job. It's not required to sit in front of the database server for the normal billing related work. If we have a slightly more budget, this solution is advisable. A more extended approach is the multiple system approach. The database is still hosted on a single machine and many computers are connected to the database server. All the computers will have the dedicated billing application. Even mobiles and tabs can be connected to the database. But the software that runs on mobile and tab slightly differs when compared to what runs on a computer. Hope you now have some understanding on the whole process. Here are a few points before we wind up. To design a billing application, you will have to contact a software firm and they will be able to assist with any queries that you have on the billing solution. Information presented in this video will definitely help to make your communication easier with the software firm. If you're planning to deal with the normal rate, discounted rate and have a separate billing for each of them, all these things can be handled in the billing application. 
whatever approach you take, the important thing to consider is the backup of the data. If the data stored in the database is lost, you may get into trouble that you wouldn't have imagined. So please take the backup process seriously and your software firm can help you with that. So friends, hope you liked the video. Please support us by sharing and subscribing the channel as usual.